Welcome to D and D Game Show. Uh, Welcome to D and D Game Show. Many people do not know whether they are racist or not. They are not trying to terrorize in improving whether the person is racist. However, our today game is to test whether the person can be racist. Oh. Welcome to our today program. How to be a racist? Today we have selected our lucky contestant Pink One. Let's welcome him. Pink One, I'm happy to be here. I'm an adventurous person who likes hiking, swimming, fishing. Thank you, Pink One, for your introduction and welcome to our game. What? I haven't finished my sentence. Today we are going to prove whether you are worthy in our game. Here, Pink One, let me ask you: Are you a racist? Of course not. Really? You sure? Of course, I'm sure about it. Alright, if you can prove yourself not racist, as you have claimed, not only would you win one million dollars, you could also get yourself a girlfriend, an act that you could summon a girl according to your liking. Feeling blue? Cause your girlfriend ditch you? Just because of your color? Buy the map and here's our app for you. Mm -hmm. A man with his girlfriend. Oh. Now I say to loneliness again. You are new in the apps on your phone. Any race, any color, any shirts, anything that you desire every time you're in dream. Can you summon me? Woohoo! I'm so happy! Just call your girl anywhere, anytime, and she'll appear beside you instantly. Only available on Danny Ng Dan. Never say lonely. So remember, the app only available in this show, DND. To summon any girls of any races you like. I heard you're not gay, Big Kwan. <laughs> no, of course not. And this will be the prizes exclusive in our show for you. So let me ask you one more time. Are you a racist? I'm a 100% non-racist person. Alright? <laughs> you may say you are racist. And if our game proves that you are racist, you still win the game. Fine. If you declare you're not racist, you gotta prove it in order to win the game. Okay, bring it on. Are you game? Okay, I'm good. So let me ask you one more time. Are you racist? I'm not. So good luck to you. If you're sure about that, if you're ready, here we go. Okay, go ahead. Pink one, looking here at the monitor, what colors can you see? It's so simple. It's white, obviously it's white. No, Pink one, the colors are black and white. Huh? And for that, you're racist. You're awarded with the R. It's white. Obviously, it's white. It's white color. There are two colors. You can see from here, one is black and one is white. Where's the black? The border is the black. Huh? Why? <laughs> see, Bing Kwan, you're racist again. Huh? You're implying the black is a black border or the black box. And it should not be together with the white. You have to open your eyes wider. Now we go to question two. Think one. You are sitting on the train. There is an old Malay man and an old Chinese man standing. What would you do? Um, I'll give my seat to the Malay. Think one. You're racist. Oh no. Hold on. I'll give my seat to the red-faced Chinese. You're still racist. Huh? What? It's because you give your seat to either one of them, you are racist against either one. Why? One against your own race, and one against the other. <laughs> I have only one seat. That's easy. Do not give your seat. It could make me a selfish person, and I will anger many people, especially netizens, and they will put me in Facebook for, for not giving up my seat to the old man. This is what makes you racist. How can I be not racist and not selfish at the same time? I say not giving your seat does not mean giving up your seat. That's the difference of giving and not giving up. Huh? You can give up your seat by leaving it empty and make yourself equal by standing with them. Um, let's go to question 3. Are you ready? There are three children here and you have one become blind to share with them. What would you do? I will cut three equal pieces and share with them. You see, the big fat boy is... Hold on, take back my words. 
What that means is that cut proportionally according to the sizes, give them the slices to show the fineness. Meaning you said the big one should have a bigger size to pie, and the smallest one will have the smallest. Your theory is because you have cut the pie for them, cause they ain't want the pie. How would I know? And you're forcing them to eat, especially to the fat Mexican. It doesn't need more. You're causing them obesity. Mm. You said the big size boy needs a bigger portion of the pie. I haven't finished my sentence. What? What I meant is the big fat boys is eating with them and they have enough. Why do you still want to stuff your pie with your mouth? Question <laughs> 4, there are three races. One's a Caucasian, one's an Indian, and one is a Chinese. Whom will you give this fruit to? The Chinese. Oh wait, hold on, it's not Chinese. You still said me racist again. Depending on individuals, on whether they like this fruit or not. Not everybody like them. It depends on their liking regardless what races they are. You are still racist. Do you know that Julius had the highest phytonutrients among fruit? Which helps increase immunity against diseases like cancer? Ah. Huh? As well as other diseases? You should give them the durian. Why? And you should encourage all of them to have it. Wait a minute. I thought there's no need to give them any food because they have their own foods. Well, Bing Hua, you don't understand. Everyone is entitled to consume healthy fruit every day. Oh. Especially what they are eating may lack of the nutrients the fruit can give them. In other words, you should promote those to them. Serious? I'm sorry. You're still racist. Are you serious? <laughs> Next question. I hope you're not racist this time. What do you think of this person? Not even the person, it's a minion. You're still racist, Big Juan. It's a cartoon character. So you imply the color yellow belongs to the minions. Yeah? Minions are yellow, are they? <laughs> and the word minion means slave. It's really a cartoon. Despicable me? Do you know that? The minions? You do you know if they sing south to a Chinese when you tell them or say them that they are yellow? Not even a person. Open your eyes wider. Look at the monitor. Look at the picture. See what you can see. Why? See closely. <laughs> you again. Are you racist? No, I'm not. Your questions are misleading and stupid. Alright, I give you one last chance to prove that you're not racist and you still can win the prizes that we offer. Okay. Do you want to take on the last question to prove yourself? Go ahead. Among the five, which word is considered as racist slur? Hmm. All of them. All of them are racist slurs. Ron, dude, all of them are non-racist slurs. What? This is totally ridiculous. I'm very really sorry. You're racist. And you lose the game. Answers are so obvious. The first one for the Chinese, the second for the black, the third for the Indian, and four for the Japanese. The last one belongs to the white. Uh. See what I mean? This is what makes you racist. What kind of game is this? I'm not racist because you are segregated them accordingly to different races. You have already grouped them according to your preference. It's all in your mind, not your words. Saying you're racist. <laughs> you're the one giving me ridiculous and stupid questions. You think these words are linked to negative connotations? You're racist. Just regular words that anyone could use differently. You have given me ridiculous and stupid answer to make me I'm a racist in front of the white audience here. Oh. <sighs> no, Bingguan, you are racist. You are showing us, all of us here, how to be racist. You lose the game. You are being racist to your own race by fearing the white. Oh my. Now you're already being a racist. Ridiculous. I can't be racist. I don't even have a race. 
<laughs> and restless. Watch carefully. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for watching my show. See you again. Please share it with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you.